Good evening everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be repacking an exhaust system on a two stroke. This is my other trials bike, my built and working trials bike. It's a Beta Evo 250 and this is the exhaust system for it. It's upside down but basically um, two stroke bikes have a, a, a padding uh, like, a, like this, sort of a, like a fiberglassy type material. And it wraps around the core in the center of the exhaust system and acts as a filter or a, a, a noise baffle, a noise cancellation. And over time, being a two-stroke, it gets all oily, all coked up and all that, and uh, it needs replacing. I don't really know what the timeline is for that, but I would say sort of 20, 30 hours of riding and it'll need doing. What happens is it gets blocked up uh, the exhaust can't breathe essentially and it'll be down on power and um, it can cause cause some problems so if you've never done it before you don't know about it it's, it's worth checking it out it's a pretty straightforward job to be fair like I say I bought a sheet uh, about that size you see that's I've cut it off to measure um, but I've got sort of two lots out of that but depending on your exhaust size you might need more you might need less so uh, in this case, it's quite a small center. Uh, being a, a trials bike, it's quite a small bit. Now, I've, I've taken the taken the screws out. I've got two on the back here and one on the bottom. And you simply pull. You, in most cases, some are different, so you of course you have to do sort of more research onto that. But this is a beta Evo in this case, so this is sort of a, a demo on how to do it on one of these. But once you're in, the principle of doing the job is exactly the same. So I've taken the screws out. The end cap just simply pulls off, and that's the size. And obviously, that's a bit. Like, I mean, it was. I've, I've actually cleaned this out to be able to filthy. It takes some hacking to get the old, uh, the old padding out because it's it's full of carbon and oil and all sorts of nastiness. So I can pull that out there. So this is the pad that we need to we need to wrap up. Sort of just from. This says this says where the where the holes are basically. That's all. I'm going to wrap that up, put it all back in, put it back together, and that's it. It's dead simple, but it needs to be nice and tight. Uh, it can cause, like I say, problems if it's not not done regularly. I've actually been running this for probably about a week without any padding in at all. I don't know what that would do. It was noisier, but um, I don't know what it would do without the engine. I wouldn't recommend doing it for too long, just in case. But the padding has come now, so I'm going to do it. So I've cut it out already, as you can see, like this. So just a quick demo, what I'm going to do. There we go. So what you want to do, like I say, where the holes are, when you're cleaning it, you want to get all the carbon, all the crap out of these, make sure they're nice and clean. And then when we're doing it, all we're doing is simply wrapping it up. Now, it's quite a long piece, this, so... If it's too thick, it's not going to fit in. So you just want to sort of cut it out and measure it up. But you can see that on the camera. So that's the length that I'm going to do it like this. And all you want to do is just wrap it up, making it nice and tight. Because it needs to be nice and tight. I'm going to try and get this done as best as possible. So I don't know how thick this is good because it's quite a thick, a thick padding to be fair. So you want to get it all nice and... Uh, Nice and easy until it fits in. Bearing in mind not going over there because you need to sort of tuck it under there so it actually needs to slide in. But once you've got the other thing, you can use it. It's not it's not exactly because it's a funny shape. Usually the like a cylindrical, it makes it a lot easier just to slot that in. But this is a bit of an odd shape, so it's gonna have to be fiddled around a little bit, squashed in. But I've wrapped that up, that's all all like that. It's pretty as tight as it can be, but to be honest, I think that might be too thick. But like I say, we're going to have a try, have a play, and have a see. Um, if it goes in, it goes in. If not, not. But I should have actually made note of which way that goes. So that goes like that. One to note, or make sure you know which way it goes in, because when the pattern's on, it can be quite tricky to work it out. But in this case, that goes on that way. So that goes on like that. So it does go in that way. And then we need to line those up, which is the tricky part. So I'm going to have a faff with it and see what we can do. So it should squeeze in there nicely. 
He says, oh, that's just come off. So I'm gonna, this is what you need to do. I'm gonna pause it because I need to, I need to really tighten it up. I'll just pause the camera so we can have a fiddle with it and we'll get it in place and I'll cut back so you can see, okay? Right, so I've got that in. I actually have to cut a bit away, it was too thick. It's very tricky, it's a bit of trial and error with this. I have done a couple of these, um, but it's 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 been a sort of a cylindrical shape pipe, so it's a, a whole heap easier. Uh, so I'm gonna have to trim it away a little bit just so that can go in, but as long as the padding is in, uh, and it'll be fine, you can sort of cut it and, and manipulate it a little bit, but I do recommend wearing gloves. Last time I did this, I wore gloves. It is like a fiberglassy and it does stick to your skin. Not particularly nice, so definitely recommend wearing gloves. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna have a cut, try and shape it up nicely so it goes in. And then, um, yeah, we'll cut back and we'll have a look and see how it sits. <sighs> All done. Bit tricky, I'll be honest. Um, cut some off at the end. Don't need to use as much as you think. It's a very tight spot on these beaters, so in the end, rather than wrapping it, it was a case of um, sort of lining it up as best as possible and simply using just stuffing it in with a screwdriver around the edges to make it nice, tight, and compact. More than enough to do the job. It's fine. But um, no, on these sort of rectangle shaped ones, wrapping it's a, a bad idea. So, but that's how we do it. It's it's pretty straightforward. It's in now. I put it in together. It's it's got a relatively good seal, much better than it was. So I'll put the screws back in, and yeah, I'll put it back onto the bike, and hopefully that's it. But yeah, just a heads up for anyone that's doing it with these. It's a yeah, it's a bit of a tricky one. Sorry, I was getting shouted from all angles. I made a mess of the kitchen, so uh, pay for that later. But oh well. But that's it. Yeah. So it is pretty straightforward. Bit fiddly, but it's one of them things. Um, definitely wear gloves. I think that my hands are itchy a bit, to be honest. Definitely should have wore gloves. But yeah, this is the material. It's, it is good. You should have compact it in, and um, it should be good to go. And that is it. So if there is any easier ways to do it. Please let me know, but that is it. So thank you for watching. And there will be more content on this bike, this Beta Evo, because I'm actually making it roll legal. So I'm gonna throw in a bit more content about that and how to actually do it, the process of doing it, and then hopefully we'll go for a go for a ride on that and we'll see how it runs on the road. Happy days. Cool, see you later.